What scouting prepares young people to do is first to adopt a servant spirit by helping other people at all times. It's in our oath. Uh, by doing a good turn daily, it's part of the slogan. So it begins by teaching young people to think about the world around them, think about people around them and what the needs are that have to be addressed. So it starts by teaching them a servant spirit. And then the whole scouting structure of the patrol, the troop, and how they learn to interact with others teaches them how to work collaboratively, collaboratively with others, uh, how to resolve differences because not everyone is going to agree in the patrol on each outing as to how we might want to proceed. So it teaches them at a very young age how to work with others in a positive way, how to recognize we may not always agree, but there is always a solution we can agree upon, and then how to implement that. So I think the important aspects of the scouting experience for young people are those two elements of the servant spirit and how to work with others. And I am convinced, as sure as I sit here, that that scouting experience is going to shape that young person and they are going to be much more successful no matter what career choices they may make. They, don't, they won't necessarily end up perhaps in a leadership position, but just they will be a better citizen of their community. They will be a better family member in their family. They will be a better uh, member of their neighborhood, their city, their town, and if they end up in a significant leadership position, they'll be a better leader. And I think that continuous involvement and engagement with scouting at some level, even though at times it was fairly distant, uh, but maintaining that engagement has always reinforced in me, as I see in the young people what's happening, I remember when that happened to me. And I realize today that is part of the way I am, it is part of the way I lead, it's part of the way I think. And most important is part of the way I make decisions. All business leaders and corporations and businesses have a responsibility to teach young people those aspects that are going to imp be important to them as they become adults. Our future, our lifeblood as organizations depend upon the quality of individuals whom we will have available to bring into our businesses. Uh, as workers, employees, but ultimately as, as the next generation of leaders to run our corporations. And if we wait to start that process when, when they come to work for us, we're too late. And so I think all of us have an obligation to identify those youth-serving organizations that are based on these kinds of values and are providing the kinds of opportunities for young people to make mistakes in a safe way one of the other strengths of the scouting organization and the, the methods that are used in scouting to instill these values in young people, to teach them the leadership and followership, is providing a safe environment in which they can make mistakes, a safe environment in which they can fail and learn from that failure and learn from those mistakes in a positive way where they have a, they'll have another opportunity to try again and the consequences will not be devastating. <clears throat> it will not be devastating to their self-confidence either. And that is something that, in my observation over many, many years, is very unique to scouting. So I think businesses, corporations, business leaders have an obligation to be engaged in organizations that provide that type of opportunity for young people to grow and mature in that type of an environment. So it's the reason we're a significant supporter of scouting and have been for many years. I'm a personally very a significant supporter. Well, business leaders and their, you know, and their business entities, I think, can do a couple of, there's a couple of things that they should think about doing with respect to scouting in their local communities in their country. Uh, and there's two ways to engage. One is with your your time and your intellectual talent uh, to volunteer and that's what I have done personally over many years and that's what many of our employees at ExxonMobil are engaged at the local level uh, either because they have 
their own children involved in the program, but many are engaged because they want to bring their skills to this organization as well by teaching young people. The second level is with your financial resources. Like anything, it takes money to run and maintain and deliver a quality program to young people. Uh, someone has to develop the program materials. Someone has to provide the facilities uh, for the activities, particularly the outdoor experiences. Uh, someone has to maintain the architecture and maintain the integrity around the program delivery itself. So I encourage business leaders and their businesses to engage at both levels because I think the, the direct engagement of your time and your talent is just as important as the delivery of your financial support as well. I also think what I have found and everyone I engage with who does both has found, I get as much out of that engagement of my time and talent uh, as, I, as I give, more so probably, and it really reinforces then the confidence with the financial support because I know what my financial support is going to deliver. So I, I would encourage business leaders, if they've not had any engagement with scouting, I would encourage them to get in touch with the local organization. And if nothing else, sit down with them and spend a little time, learn something about it. I think you will find it well worth the effort and the time to understand what is going on with scouting in your local community. And then it will give you also a better understanding of the impact your financial contributions are going to have and it'll give you the confidence that this is a good spend of, of our resources. There is a huge return, I think, on any investment that, that one would make in the scouting movement in terms of what you're going to receive back in your local community, but also longer term with the kinds of young people that will be entering the workforce in the future.